So no doubt, probably pretty windy, but what I got going today here is customer, and it's actually my fault because I know we talked about it, but conceptually, I didn't think about it during the planning stages, just because typically uh, windows kind of get put in wherever after the fact. We don't normally worry too much about post location. So what happened was we got this window over here that's about centered in this space about oh i don't know it's like 18 or 20 inches off of that door jam and what we want to do is the same thing over here but what we got going on is this post now this is an end wall so this post is actually not very structural we've got a structural end truss it's more about you know the wind loading is what this post is all about so what we're going to do is we're going to header this off treat it like a garage door opening for the most part we're going to use a bunch of 2x12 material and we're going to just chop out the middle of this post and then i'll show you what i'm going to do but we're going to put up some what i'm going to call like some jack post up alongside of this window to stiffen it up and add some strength the nice thing about this building is it's got an interior liner and there's going to be a wall built right here so that will add a bunch of strength it's on the east side of the building we don't typically get much wind out of the east anyway not that I'm even worried, so we'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do here. We're going to try a new approach, and instead of just music, I'm going to go ahead and explain what I'm doing in these time lapses. I've measured for where my window is going to go, and I cut my main post out. And then what we're going to do is uh, I'm ripping a 2x6 down to the same dimension as the post, which is 5 and 3 8 And that is for a stiffener, since that's a pretty large span. Uh, this will add rigidity uh, wind loadings. And then I'm going to install that right flush with the bottom of my 2x12. Now I've cut that. Uh, stiffener board and put it in exactly where the top of my window is so then I'm going to bring mark my levels and uh, bring my window box in which as you can see fit nicely right where I wanted it on the top of that post and at the bottom of that stiffener board so once I get that all fastened level obviously you always want to make sure that your wall is level before you level the window otherwise it's pointless and I put a little jack post in just to connect everything uh, down from the grade board up to that header I'm going to put in a bottom 2x6. I didn't need a 2x6 here. Typically we would do a 2x4, but um, it just worked out where when I put the 2x6 right on top of my other wall girt, it was perfect on the top or the bottom of my window sill. So um, I'm just doing some blocking, filling everything in. I got everything exactly where I want it. I'm going to cut out my girt going through, put my window blocking on the side so I can have a place to fasten my window. And that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. Now over here on this walk door, um, once again, make sure your walls are level. I'm going to level up for where my uh, jams are going to go. I'm going to cut out my sill down at the bottom, and that is four inches up from the bottom of the grade board, which is the top of our concrete when it gets poured. I add a stiffener treated, ground contact treated stiffener board on the inside, and that's basically for our sill to sit on. Uh, put my door jams in. I've already marked those for level. Screw them off. Walk doors are pretty easy, and then it's just on to blocking everything out. You can see that stiffener up there. We also do that on door jam spacings or door bays. That way uh, the door has as much rigidity as possible. Blocking, blocking, good place to screw all of our flashings around the door. And pretty much that's a wrap on a walk door. Not much to them once you've done them a couple times. Uh, it's pretty simple. Two jams, top, bottom blocking we got the window all done as you can see we had to go ahead and cut out this post but still really sturdy put a lot of framing in there to make it as sturdy as possible we got all of our lower windows done we got that walk door down here installed we got this side soft fascia done my supplier is actually in the process of getting more soffit. Some of it didn't show up, so we can't finish this end wall. Uh, we can't finish this end wall of soffit or the other side wall completely. We should see that material tomorrow, but the, the wind is really calmed down, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to get up on this roof. We're going to try and lock this building down with some roof steel. So here we go. Wish us luck. Not that we need luck, we just need it to not be as windy.
what started out as a pretty darn cold and windy day ended up getting a nice calm somewhat calm afternoon which allowed us to whip out the roof so we definitely had a great afternoon we got the whole roof done i think we got a couple rows of screws still to put in we've got two windows to put up here up high however we did get this window fixed that post cut out and then we got this walk door done among some other you know miscellaneous framing some rat boards some grade board stuff on the outside tomorrow if it's calm we'll go ahead and start running house wrap getting wayne's coat um i don't think our windows are supposed to be until friday which does stink it's because tomorrow's thursday which means i'd really want them tomorrow that would be ideal i'm missing some excuse me i'm missing some soffit material which would also be nice to have because we could finish that out and let's see my walk doors and my glass cupola should be in probably Tuesday. So, uh, man, there's a really good chance. I'm assuming that probably what we're gonna do is between tomorrow and Friday, we'll get the porch post piers poured. Geez, say that three times fast. Say that three times fast. We'll get the porch post piers poured this week. That way, you know, worst case, Monday we can be framing up the porch while we're waiting on our window or sorry our walk door doors i don't know if my windows will even come in on friday so that's kind of the best case but right now we still got a lot of work to do so we're just going to keep hammering away time to go home though